Welcome to the second episode of Debunkai, where we're taking commonly practiced bunkai methods and putting them to the test. This week, we want to focus on Pinan Sanden, and specifically the final moves where we spin around and throw double elbows. Just as a reminder, before we look at the kata and break it down, we're putting it to three different tests. Mechanically, can we make it work with a passive opponent? With a bit of resistance, can we still make it work? With a bit of live drilling or full resistance and a non-compliant opponent, can we still make the bunkai application effective? Let's take a look at the kata now and what we're talking about. So I've heard a couple of common applications of this and actually some black belts have gotten to verbal fights over it. I don't know of any physical ones, but definitely where they've had strong disagreements. And what it came down to is, do you believe that you're elbowing someone behind you, which makes them lean forward so you punch them in the face? Or do you believe that you're spinning around and elbowing someone in front of you? But both applications rely on the elbow. I've done a video before of a few different options. I think it can be more of a throw than anything. We'll show that later on. Uh, but let's put the double elbow to test. Here it is with a compliant opponent and giving me all the time in the world to make it work. Beautiful. Mechanically, we can make it work. All right, I can elbow someone in the stomach, which will bring their head forward, and I can hit them. One caveat to that that I noticed immediately is height difference played a big role. All right, I needed someone high enough that I could elbow in the stomach to make them lean forward. Otherwise, I had to drop my stance lower. I don't have footage of that when I was testing it out, but otherwise, when I fought someone my own height, I had to drop my stance enough, and you could say in the kata, it does bend the knees and drop your weight, could still work. So mechanically, with a compliant opponent, so far, we're good. Now let's try it with a bit of resistance. Okay, this test actually surprised me a little bit because what I found when I spun with any little bit of speed and tried to hit into Steve is more often than not, I bounced off of him. I didn't land that nice elbow which created that movement that we always talk about, you hit in the stomach and they lean forward. And the reason being is as when I threw that elbow back, I would hit with more of the tricep before I could hit with the tip of the elbow. That's just naturally what happens as you come backwards, it starts to hit the body here. You don't get to sink in that elbow deep into the stomach to get that reaction. So I was hitting and although I was trying to drive it, I was actually pushing my body forward. There could be something to say that Steve is bigger than I am, so he has more mass. So hitting was allowing me to, you know, I just bounced off. But some people believe that we take martial arts so that we can defeat the larger opponent. In kata, we say we're fighting someone our own height. So we have a disagreement in some of the base camps there that we've got, but putting with a little bit of resistance, it wasn't working very well. So now let's test it with someone that isn't gonna stand there and let me hit them either. Okay, so as soon as I was in close and spun around and tried to hit, you know, Steve grabbed me and dropped me. He pushed me out of the way. He, he made it impossible for me to basically elbow him. I couldn't even get to the punch over top. It just did not work. So under stress test, I would say spinning around as a double, or as an elbow and a punch over top, hitting that person does not work. Now... As I said earlier, I do think it's a throw and we have a few different options, but I take it as a shoulder throw. I've got other videos that we've done about that, but just to show you a quick clip, I think this is a better approach. Here it is. All right, that application worked beautifully. I was able to be in a control method. I could make the throw work. I think that is a better subset for Bunkai on the final moves than the argument of an elbow backwards and punch over the shoulder or even spin around and elbow the person in the face. I don't see those as being the right movements for us. What are your thoughts? Like, comment, share, let me know what you think, agree, disagree, test it out. Tell me if you can make this move work without a very severe height difference. And even then under pressure, can you make it work? Let us know.